So then Zayn so the Ozzam Azai says he was never Zaychet to prove that you need to say Yisina Sinsayim also by night, not only by day, that you need to say it twice a day. And Shedosh Ben Zayma, until Ben Zayma, the action from a Pasuk, Shenemar, that it says, Laman Tisko Yisina Sinsayim, Chamei Yisina Sinsayim, Kol Yimei Chayecha. All the days of your life, you have to remember Yitzis Mitzrayim. So what, so what does that mean? Yimei Chayecha, that's Hayomim. They have to remember Yitzis Mitzrayim by, by day. Kol Yimei Chayecha, when it says Kol, what's it coming to include? That's coming to include at night. And also at night time, you need to remember Yitzis Mitzrayim. So twice a day. Like what we do. So Chachamim argue. They say, you can't bring a proof from the word Kol. So I'll explain it to you differently. Yimei Chayecha Ha'ilam Hazeh. Yimei Chayecha is this world. And kol is lahavi lahavi lemeisam ashiach. The word kol that's coming to include that, include that also by lemeisam ashiach. We're going to remember. We're going to need to remember Yitzchak Mitzrayim. So we have a we have a we have a clear argument in the Mishnah. What the, whether we're, uh, what does the word kol mean? Either kol can mean that you need to say Yitzchak Mitzrayim also by nighttime, or it can mean that you're going to need to say by lemeisam mashiach. So Cheres either or. According to Ben Zema, you don't need to say remember Yitzchak Mitzrayim at nighttime uh, when Mashiach comes. And whereas according and according to Chachamim, you do remember when Mashiach comes, but you need to say, but you don't need to say it at night time. So the Gemara goes on further. Uh, <coughs> ben Zayma tries to prove his point, right? The Gemara says Tanya. Amar lahem Ben Zayma lachachamim v'chi maskidin Yisias Misayin limaysa Mashiach. Do we do we? Is it true? Do we really need to remember Yisias Misayin when Mashiach comes? Va'aleik varnem. And the have a pasuk that says. He neyamim boim nu Hashem. There are days that they will come. Hashem said that there are days will come. When people swear, they won't say, I swear by the Abishar who took us out of Mitzrayim. There are people who are not going to remember that anymore. Who took us out. They're going to swear by the Abishar who took us out of Asher and brought as Zera Beis Yisholm, the Eretz of Fino. We call her Rotzeis Asher Heidachtim Shom. Who took us out of Golos and all the, all the different, all the far, all the far corners which we were scattered there. The Abishar will take us out from there. So you see from this pasuk that way, we're not going to remember you see us when Mashiach comes. The gula then is going to be so much bigger, so much bigger. Who knew? Who? And you see us is going to be insignificant. So, so what did Chacham answer him? It doesn't mean that it's going to be Nekar, that we're going to completely forget about going out of Mitzrayim. The Iker, the Iker Gul is going to be the final Gul, the third Gul. But they we're still going to remember Yitzhak Mitzrayim, but it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be tough to the, to the final Gul. But we're still going to have to remember it. That's, going to, that's, the, that's the where it all started from. And we, we can't forget it. So this is... So this is the argument, and so this is the argument about the Ulasi Lovay. Are we still going to remember when Mashiach comes? So the Rashba, besides for the Chidusha Malashas, he has Chidusha Agodis. He explains Agandatas. So in in, in Brachas over there, he was talking about. He writes down. A, he he records a whole discussion he had with Apikaitis. Apikaitis was challenging different things in Yiddishkeit. He's saying that they do a lot of strange things. How come you need to stand with your feet straight when you daven Shmei Esrei? How come you can't eat before davening? Uh, different questions he was asking. One of the questions he asks is, L'chira, we see you, you don't always say that Yiddishkeit can't change. The Tehidah Mitzvahs are forever. L'chira, you have a clear Mishnah, according to Ben Zemo, that Lassilovay, we're not going to remember Yitzhak Mitzrayim anymore. Remembering Yitzhak Mitzrayim is one of the Tayyag Mitzvahs. How could it be that Lassilovay, we're going, we're not going, the Mitzvah is not going to apply anymore? The Tehidah, the Tehidah is Nitzchis, it never changes. So this is what he challenged, this is what he challenged, challenged the Rashba. So the Rashba, so the Rashba answers, he says that, he, he says he says no. It doesn't mean Torah is going to change. He says you have to understand what is the reason why we need to remember Yitzhak Mitzrayim every day. It's not it's not something unique about Yitzhak Mitzrayim. It's just that we need to strengthen our emuna in the Eibusher. We need to have a strong betachin and know, know that Eibusher controls the world. The way we do this is through remembering the greatest nissan that happened. The greatest nissan nis, nis, that have ever happened so far is Yitzhak Mitzrayim. So therefore we remember Yitzhak Mitzrayim in order to in order to strengthen our emuna. But lost but lost it lovely. We're going to have some of uh, the Geula Laslavi is going to be so much greater. Through remembering the Geula Laslavi, that's going to make our moon so much stronger than, the, than Yitzhak Mitzrayim. It's not something, the whole point is just to remember Yitzhak The whole point of, of remembering Yitzhak Mitzrayim is to strengthen our moon. So Laslavi, we're going to have greater Nisim, and greater miracles. Hmm? We're going to, have to our gonna, well, that's the Mitzvah. We're going to, I guess, yeah, we're going to high, yeah, higher Rodriguez and Amuna. And. So let's read his lashon inside in the second Maimokim. Writes that 
שאין הכוונה בקריאה שמע רק כדי שנזכר בפה הניסים שעשו לנו השם. The whole point of saying קריאה שמע, saying יציאת מצרים, is to remember the ניסן אחרי בשביל דיטוס, שיציון ממצרים אחרי יסינו עבוד עם פרוחים, after being broken down slaves, דלי כויח, without strength, ותחת סיבוס מלך רב, בעם קושה, being under the rulership of a great king and a power and a mighty nation. Remember that Ibish is one who watches over us and, and, he was, and, who, and who has control of everything. And nothing, nothing could stop him. And, the, and the, our B'tachin becomes strengthened so much. That's the point of, uh, that's the point of remembering his Yisrael Yisrael. So he goes on in the second paragraph. The second paragraph. After you understand, this is the whole reason for remembering Yitzchus Mitzrayim every day to strengthen our emuno. He negam hatachlis ahu shomer b'haskirenu kibus am in mushach memoyrut. And the, this this point of strengthening our emuno is going to be kept also lost in loving. We're also going to have this. How so? When we remember that Levisha gathered us from being from all over the place, from the Amin Roroim, from the wonder, from these great power nations, from these far, pla- and far and from these far lands, Mitzaf and Miyam, Betia Hakavana, he Yisra Chazaka, and that Kavana, that moon is going to be so much stronger. Bias Haskar, Baisi Subnisim Yisra Chazakim. Since the Nisim and the place where it's going to happen, I find the Gula going to be so much stronger. Memela, our moon is going to be strengthened so much more than remembering his Yisra Mitzrayim. So according to the Sarah it explains that it doesn't mean it's not it's not a shayla how could Tatum it's just changed. It's not changing. Instead of instead of remembering Gula Sis Mishraim every day, we're gonna remember every day we're gonna remember Zachar S Hagula Ashlishis, whatever 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 we're gonna use. We're gonna it's gonna be a different gula we're gonna have to remember every day. So this is how how the how the how the Rashva answers the question. So, so the Shaila is how do we pass in, right? So we have a Chalikas in the Mishnah. When Mashiach, when Mashiach comes, are we still going to need to remember Yitzhiz Mitzrayim? So Kol could either mean that you have to mention, remember Yitzhiz Mitzrayim also by night, the time that means twice a day, or it could mean that you're going to need to remember by Yitzhiz by when Mashiach comes. So how do we pass in? What do we do every day? How many times do we, remember Kriya, do we say Kriya Shema? So we, we say Kriya Shema twice. Right? We say in the morning and the night time in Kriya Shema, we say Vayimur. So it seems like we pass in like Ben Azai, uh, like uh, Azar Ben Azai and Ben Azai, Ben Zayma. That the call means that we need to me- say, remember, you see Mitzrayim at night time. So if so, seemingly that means also lovely, we're not going to remember you see Mitzrayim anymore, because we're Lachira we pass in like Ben Zayma. That we call means at night time. So, so the so the so the slach, the native of Yehuda, Says that uh, brings down the uh, says that well, not, not necessarily. The the Neidah Behuda brings the Rambam who learns that if seemingly the simple reading of the Mishnah looks like there's an argument whether you need to say Yitzchus Mitzrayim at night time. Does Kol mean that you need to say at night time? Does it mean Lasid Lovely? The Rambam has a different taish. The Rambam taish everyone agrees that you have to say Yitzchus Mitzrayim at night time. It's not pshat that Chachamim weren't saying the parshas Vayimer when they said Kriyshma by, by, by my mind. Everyone said it. The question was how do you know? And the Ramah has a different taste. Ramah says, Leitzah Chisi, I wasn't Zeicha. It doesn't matter, I wasn't Zeicha to prove them, to prove my point. I wasn't Zeicha to know where's the Makar. So the way the Ramah teaches, so Ben Azai, so Ben Zayim comes and says, I know the, I, I know, I know the Makar. The Makar is from the Pasuk of Kol. How can going say, you know, it's not a proof. You can't learn out from the Pasuk of Kol because Kol could be talking about Yemei Samashiach. But everyone agrees, La Halacha, that you have to say it also at night time. The Chalmer also agree that you say, you see, that you have need to remember it at night time. And so late, late this says the native. Late this, it could be that we talk a paskin, not necessarily pass like Ben Zayma. Could be we talk a paskin like Chachamim. We say see us in Salma at night time. Could be Chacham also agree like that. And could be that we talk a paskin like Chachamim. Lots of love. We're talking going to still need to mention we see us in Salma every single day. We're still going to say the parsha of Ayimer. According to Ben Zayma, we're not going to say the parsha of Ayimer anymore. Whereas according to according to Chachamim, we 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 still will. So this is. So this this is this is in so so what's the what's the psak la halacha? So there's there's no, there's no clear psak. We'll see we'll see lots of lovey. Now from Sheikh will come. We'll 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 ask him we'll ask him the shaylos whether we have to whether we have to mention he sees me trying lots of lovey. In in one more 
Oh, so that's, that's regarding remembering Kriya Shema. So now regarding, uh, regarding davening, Lassad Lovey, do we still need to daven Lassad Lovey? So what's the discussion? So first you have to figure out why do we daven? What's the reason of davening? So there's a machlekes in the Gemara. Why, 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 was, who was mis- why were we misakin to the tefillis? It's a machlekes whether it was by the Ovis or whether it's Kenegad the Karbonis. Look in the fourth Mara Mokim. The Baruch is not Chavavam and Beis. The Gemara says, Itmar, Rabbi Yisi, Rabbi Hanina, Omar, Tefillis Ovis Tiknu. Tefillah is davening three times a day. Who is misakin? It's the Ovis. Avram is first in davening Shachas, Yitzchak davening Mincha, Yaakov davening Meirev. That's, that's who was misakin the, the, the Tefillahs. Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi Omar, Tefillah is connected to Midin, Tiknu. It says, no, it wasn't from the Ovis. Ezra was misakin the Tefillahs, connected the Karbonis. For the for the you know, for shachas for the carbon tamid shal shachar the mincha for the kabbar shal bein arbaim and ma'ariv ma'ariv for the for the parts I would think if that they still have, for the parts of the carbonis you still need to burn at night time. So this is machlekes. What's the reason we daven? So so the Rambam said the Rambam and I'll ever bring down that is that they pass and that they bring down the town that is for connected the carbonis. Like, right, like, like we say in David, we say in the uh, we, say, we say in Tfila, uh, we say in before after before Yisrael Mokayim we say when Shalom Afarim Sefasenu right that our 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 saying carbonis is as if we brought the carbonis in its place right so our Tfila is like it's in place of the, it's instead of the carbonis so the question is if it's instead of the carbonis so when Mashiach comes and we're bringing carbonis are we still going to need to daven? If the main reason why we daven is connected to the kabbonis, we don't have the kabbonis anymore, and therefore we have to daven instead. So lots of we're going to bring that we're going to bring the kabbonis. So will we need to daven then? Maybe, maybe then we won't need to daven anymore. And uh, yeah, that's on the next page. Yeah. So the question is, even in the times of the Beis Hamikdash, yeah, you have to backtrack. What was happening then? What happened in the Beis Hamikdash? In the Beis Hamikdash, when they're bringing the kabbonis, did they daven? What did they do then? So the chida. The Berchi Yisav brings down brings a Gemara and Sukkot where it talks about where it's talking about what Simchas Beis Hasheva was like in the Beis Hamikdash, and it says they were so busy they couldn't sleep and describes what their schedule was. And throughout their schedule, you see what they did: they daven Shachris, they daven Mincha, they they did everything. They did all the Tzvilis, even though they were bringing Karbonis. Let's look in the fifth Mar Malkin. The Gemara Sukkot Daphne Gimel Amar Aleph. Amar Rabbi Yeshua Ben Chananya. When we are by later shina our eyes did not see sleep. We didn't have a second to sleep. Kate how so? Shari Shaina, the first hour of the morning, Tamit Shal Shachar. They brought the car, they brought the, the carbon Tamit of the morning. Misham Litvila, after that they went to go to Avon Shachris. Misham the carbon Musaf, then they brought the carbon Musaf. Misham Litvila Samusaf, and then they dive in Musaf. Misham the base on Medrash. And Mishal, and then they went to learn. Mishal la'achil roshia, then they ate. Mishal tefilas hamincha, then they daven mincha. Mishal the tummy shall be in arbaim. Mikan ve'ela chasimchas beis hasheva. Then on they were dancing all night long, and they didn't have a chance to sleep. So you see that a chagav that they take a daven in the beis hamikdash. So the question is, the chayda, what's going on? They had the karbonis. The whole reason we have that we do we daven is because we don't have the karbonis anymore. So why were they davening? So the say the obvious was sacking the Why did it stop? Why did it stop? Who said it stopped? Why? The obvious was sacking them. Came the Kabbalists, no more Tfilas. Don't say the Kabbalists went to the Tfilas. So if you. That's now. But before, it was Kabbalists. Don't say that the Kabbalists took away the. You're saying once they were masakin it, it stays. They were masakin it. Later. Saying once they were masakin it instead of the karbonis, then it. They were masakin because there was no karbonis yet. What were they masakin the, the tefillas? Oh, the obvious. Obvious were masakin. Oh, if the obvious were masakin it, then it had nothing to do with the tefillah. Shall say that they they were masakin the to, to daven three times a day. But the seder was set up so, by the. So you think when the base of Midrash came, they if, said, okay, no more. If. If you learn like the second reason, if you go that say that they were masakin the kenegah the karbonis, then you would say that was by Ezra and Anshe Knesset Zagadelon. No, they, 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 they set up the same. You say the nusach, the nusach they were masakin. Right, but if here they may be the daven. They had a different nusach. Everybody, everybody, everybody did their own thing. You're saying they had they had they had a different nusach maybe. Um, That's so. It doesn't mention my visit. Right, my my visit shus. Maybe my visit shus. Maybe they we were makabal as a chayv. Maybe back then they were makabal as a chayv yet. Um, so the the birchayisef, the birchayisef was 
Vichy Yisef in Simen and Ches, he was discussing a question, and he was, discuss, he was answering a question. In the middle of the answer, he comes and he, comes, he explains that he says, if you pay attention carefully to the words, it doesn't say Tzfilis B'makim Karbanis Tikna. It doesn't say they were sacking Karbanis instead, uh, davening instead of the Karbanis. It says Keneged, corresponding to their Karbanis, they were sacking, they were sacking Tzfilis. We have, we have this, con- well, most of us have this concept that instead, instead of the Karbanis, now we have davening and we, and we say Karbanis, and we say Karbanis. But he says, no, it doesn't mean instead of it. Keneged, just like corresponding, just like we, just like there's any to bring three Karbanis a day, there's any to daven three times a day. And that could be even more Bringing carbon, even when bringing carbon, there still could be there still could be an Indian of davening. It doesn't have to change. And the six Mara Mokin, Bechisif writes, Vahari Shalini Sakna feels Bemokim Hatmidin. It wasn't established instead of the Timidin. Of the Bukhin Lashin Azov, you could test the golden Lashin of the Gemara, Shalmu Tfilis Keneged Timidin Tiknum. The way Amru Bemokim Timidin Tiknum. He didn't say that was instead of the Karbonis. Shaharagam, the Bai Shani, but he lost the Hume Spalin. And the Bai Times of Bai Shani, they're also davening Yurches, the Ezra, Base Ubez Dine Tiknum, they were sacking it, and they were already by the times of the second base on Mikdosh. Ella Shatikna, Miros, and Keneged Hatmidin. This are they were sacking, it was Keneged the Karbon Tomid. So this is, this is how the Virche Virche Yisuf explains. With this, he was answering a question over there, the Neida Bihuda. Someone asked the question, Neida Bihuda, if the tf- how come by Musaf we say all the Psukim of the carbon Musaf, but by Shachris we don't say the Psukim of the carbon Tamin. By Shmun Esrei, we don't say any Psukim of the Karbonis. So if it's Kenege the Karbonis, how come only Musaf we mention the Psukim of the Karbonis? So the Neida Bihuda, they gave an answer that because then it'll be too complicated, right? Because there's a different carbon for Shin in the morning and in, in, in the afternoon Tamin. So it's going to be a different Nusach, it's going to be too complicated. So the Birch Yisuf gave his own answer. He says, according to this, once you understand that it's not instead of the Karbonis, it's in place of the Karbonis, it's, it's corresponding to the Karbonis. So it's not such a big question, why didn't we say the Pesukim? Because they, they have their Karbonis then also. It's not, it's not to take the place. If it's in order to take the place of their Karbonis, so then it's strange. Yeah, we should say the Pesukim in the middle of Shemun Esri, also of the, of the Karban Tamid. He says it's not instead of the Karbonis, it's just corresponding to their Karbonis. So it's not such a big question why, why we don't say the Pesukim in the in middle of the Tamid, in the middle of, Sh- of Shemun Esri. What's the difference between corresponding to and instead of? It's... It's, if you say if, if it's instead of, so meaning really there is no reason to say, really, really there is no reason to daven three times a day. The only reason they, they assigned to do it is because we were missing the karbonis. If we had the karbonis, if we had the karbonis, it was never a churban, they, who says they, will, they, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't be misnaken to daven three times a day. Why do you even daven three times a day? You bring karbonis. So that's what's b'mokim instead. They did daven. They did daven. So that's what he's answering. So he says because it doesn't mean that it was instead. It does, they didn't. They, we daven three times a day. It's not. It's not instead of the carbonis. It's not in place. Even if we still bring carbonis, it's still a good thing to daven. And they decided to make the davening similar to the carbonis. Since it's, I guess, since it's a similar avoda, you're, you're when you're davening. So we, they made it similar to the carbonis. But both of them are important. It's not that you need. It. It's not either one or the other. Both of them are important. Yeah, both of them. That's how the Bichy Yisuf explains. Um, there's, however, there, 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 there's, a, there's, a, there's my, my mom from Alter Rebbe in Simach Sedek where it's Mashma, where they say it's Mashma differently, that it is b'mokim, it's instead of the Karbonis. Times in the Chur, now times in the Chur, we don't have the Bishan Mikdash anymore, we don't have Karbonis, and therefore now they, we have the Avid of Tfilah. So it's Mashma differently. So in the seventh Mara Mokim, it's about two lines from Ura Teiro, in here, here, uh, the Semach Sadek writes, <laughs> The Iker Tikkun of Tfilo was, 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 was after the Chur Beisam Mikdash. He was quoting Alter Rebbe there, he says, He's Master Alpi Kabola and Alpi Chassidus, why you have the Davka and why Davka now we need the, the Davni. And Semach Sadek says, Gam Kipshutai Yishleim, right? Girls understand Kipshutai, Kitfilis Bemokim Tmidin Tiknum. See, he changes the Lashin, he doesn't say Kinnegan, he says Bemokim. The in king Shahaya Kravin Hatmidin Mamish, Lachin Lay Hayut Srikhan Kokach Latvila. When they're. Kokach? Right here. So when they're bringing the curve on the air, they didn't, need to, they didn't really need to daven so much. It wasn't such an important thing. So I don't know, according to this, if you understand like this, maybe, maybe they'll also love you. You don't need. <laughs> Shorter, right? Yeah. You have more time. <laughs> So maybe maybe the answer is that when they were bringing the kapanis, at the same 
time they would say, Oh, so, but that would, that would explain but like... Now the, that there's since no book of us, now we're doing it negative. That's the explanation. Is that what you said before? But, Maybe I didn't know. You're saying you're saying both are true. In the times of the Day Mikdash is only connected. Yes. Now it's Bimokim. Now, oh, okay, I hear. So this is this is how so this is how it seems like from the from the Simach Sadek. So the question is so why wait, so if it, if it's if you understand that it's instead of the Karbana, so why were they davening in why were they davening in the times of the So okay, you so you said explanation, you said both ways could be true. So Avram Gerlitsky in 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 a sefer, he so he gives he gives the two different explanations. He says it's brought down that uh, some people some, uh, so he brought down from some of first and I'd say the attack in the times the Gemara says that at the time the Yidden forgot the Nusach of the Tfilwa and then Shimon Hapitulli came and he he reminded everyone what's the Nusach of the Tfilwa. So the question is how did you forget? They said at the times of the Vayishani after after they they had to be something that they didn't need to daven anymore. It says only only a few only few people were davening Hasidim and Shemaisa, special people or even them, they were they were davening. Everyone else didn't need to daven anymore. So that's why most people forgot. And there are a few people who reminded everyone. So you can understand you say maybe Taka when it talks about Daisa Mikdash, maybe that was unique people in Daisa Mikdash, they daven every day. Could be Taka everyone else didn't daven. And or it could be, or not so explanation, because it could be that the Taken, the Taken knew that there was going to be a Churban. They knew, they, it says that the, they, when they built the second mission, the second base of Mikdash, they didn't build it exactly like it, the way it says in Yechesko. Because they knew that this wasn't the final base of Mikdash. They knew it was going to be different. So it could be, they also knew there was going to be another Churban. And that's why they didn't stop davening. They knew they're, they're still going to need to daven, so they never stopped. Um, so, that, that's, so, that, so that's the, that's the discussion. We need, is there a Chir to daven us loving? But it's interesting. There's another. There's a medrash. There's a medrash rabbi, which talks about that. Loss of love, he also says that we're not going to need to daven anymore. Not because we're going to have kavanas, but because we're not going to need to daven. What's the point of davening? You're asking Hashem for things. Loss of love, we're going to have everything. We're not going to need to daven. What's davening? You're asking Eivus sir. We're asking for We need things. We need things. We're going to have everything we need. We're not going to need to daven. The first three and the last three. Yeah, the first three are Shevach. The first three uh, brachas we say Shemin Asri is praising the Yerusha. The, uh, the next, uh, the last, uh, the next, uh, um, the next uh, nine? No. In, 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 in next 12, 12, in the next 12 is asking the what we need. And the last three is thanking the Ibrishter. After we already answer everything we need, we're thanking the Ibrishter. So look in the Vayikar Rabba, the Medrash of there says that we're not going to, we're not going to need anything anymore, so we're not going to need to daven. This Biyach is Karbonis, it's not, it's not davening. Oh, there's two things, right? Wait, so, in Eith Maramalkin, Vayikar Rabba, and Parsha Sav, Parak Tess, in Zayin, that Pinchos, that I believe, 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 that I said, La osi lovei kol ha karbonis betelin. La osi lovei, we're not going to need to bring karbonis anymore, meaning karbonis for averis, because people aren't going to do averis anymore. The karbon teida in a bottle, except for the karbon teida, we're always going to give thanks to the Avisha. Karbon teida, we're still going to bring. And then it goes on, and kol hatvilis betelis, and all the davenings are going to be are going to be bottle, but ha haida in a betelin. But thanking the Avisha, that's not going to be bottle. So why? So why? Why is it? Why? Why is the davening going to come bottle? So on the ninth of Ramadan, the eighth, the Pirush, eighth, Yosef on the Medrashah explains that Kol has feels betelis shleit starchul lehispalo. We're not going to need to daven anymore. At least not lechasa shalim al eza tzara echeli. We're not going to need to daven for any tzaris or any sicknesses. So Mamela, so Mamela says, we're only going to be thanking the Eibusher. We're not. We're not. We're not going to. We're not going to need to make any requests from the Eibusher. And also, but the next question is the chayda. Davening is one of the tayag mitzvahs. Way the Rambam counts as one of the tayag mitzvahs. So the chayda, how could he say, how can a mitzvah become bottle? So he answers. He says, the aim bezeh chas v'sholim bittul mitzvah mitzvah tayda. It's not a bittul mitzvah the tayda. K'may mitzvahs Michael misha in bias. Just like there's a mitzvah to make a to make a gate or a fence around your roof. Someone who doesn't have a fence, he doesn't have to make a, he doesn't, it doesn't have roof, he doesn't have to make a fence, but it doesn't mean the mitzvah is bottle. So, Allah said, so too, what's the mitzvah to daven? The Ramban, the Ramban says that the mitzvah is to daven mid the rice is only when you need something. That's when you need to daven. So, 
for us alone, we're not going to need anything. And they, we're not going to dive in. But if we would need something, we would dive in. It just happens to be we're not going to need anything. And it's going to be a... Why not? Why should that change? Oh, we're still going to be... Yeah. Can't have the safe and go out of business. <laughs> we're going to... It's interesting also that there's a said there's a said the base of the king from the Mabit, he was a Havra of the Beis Yosef. He says that Allah said Lavi, all the Tulas, he says we're not going to ask the Abishir for things. So he says the Nusach is going to change. Instead of saying that um, we're gonna instead of asking Abishir Shvar all game out of Rainer, we're gonna say no, we're gonna say thank you, Abishir, for breaking for breaking the yoke of the game of 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 um off of us. And instead of saying "ata seili chena," we're going to say "ata meili chena." Can we "you took us"? And when Bircha, when we say "tekab b'sheva gadol," instead of saying we're going to say "neidolcha," Hashem lekeno asha tikata b'sheva gadol. So he says we're going to have to change the nusach. Instead of asking the Eivsher to do these things, it's going to be we're going to be thanking the Eivsher for already doing all these things. Right, but it's all it's all going to be shevach. It's not going to be it's not going to be bakoshes. <laughs> yeah. So that's 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 the discussion.